All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a device to the DMSS app. Here, I have my DMSS app on my iPhone. I'm going to click on the app. If it asks you to log in at any point, just exit out of it. Sometimes you may need to swipe left and right. In my case, on this app, it's asking me to log in. I will not do that. But what I will do to add a device, there's a plus sign on the top right-hand corner of the screen. I will click on that. And it will say either scan QR code, IP domain, add using Bluetooth search, etc. This is about adding either an IP NVR on your local network or on an external IP address or a DDNS entry. It could be used also for an IP camera, and I'll show you where you have to choose something differently. But let's add a device here using IP domain. That's the second from last option. Now, in my case here, I'm adding an NVR, which is a network video recorder. If you're adding something else, choose that appropriate device. I'm going to choose NVR, which was the third item. Now, it says address. This is not a street address. It is the IP address. It could be an external IP address. It could be a um, local network address, or it could even be a domain name like this, my DVR dot something.com. You could put that in here. Now, I am putting in my local IP address on my local network. If you're copying these settings from a different device that you know works on a different phone, perhaps you would put that in here. On my test unit here, I am putting in my IP address. Port number. Most cases, Whoever's watching this is not going to change the second entry for port number, and you're going to leave it alone, 3 quadruple 7. In my case, I do have a different port number. Now, the name. This is a name you want to give it. I'm calling it my system. Username and then the password. So you would enter your password here, and then when you've entered your password, hit done, and hopefully it'll connect. Now, if you're copying these settings from another device, just put them in here like I did here. And hit save. And that should connect. If for some reason it doesn't, it will give you an error message of some sort. So here, my system connected. I'm able to wave my hand. And I am on the video. I don't have two cameras connected, but um, it's fine. I can scroll through and then now watch my system. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.